Hi, Matt Bronco here. Today I'm at the Circuit of the Americas in Texas to have a go at their driving experience and drive these three cars behind me around the circuit. I'm not here to compete in a race or try and set any lap records. I'm just here to have a go in the cars and do a few laps and most of all have some fun. I'm now going to get suited up and take the first car out for a spin. Not literally, I hope. So I hope you will join me and see how I get on. Right, okay. I'm in the first car of the day now, which is a Ford Mustang Boss 302. Uh, obviously it's a road car, as you would have come to expect from my driving experiences. The uh, first car is well, pretty much usually a road car. Pretty powerful road car. Um, obviously to get used to the circuit, get a feel for it. So I'm all strapped in, I'm ready to go. So I think we're getting into gear and get out on the outlap. Like I said in the intro, I'm at the uh, Circuit of the Americas today, or as it's known to some people, Cota. So I'm quite looking forward to this. Uh, it's a circuit I know, obviously from the Grand Prix the last few years. Uh, it's quite a new circuit, um, but uh, it's quite a nice circuit. It's a pretty long lap, it's about three and a half miles round. And we're using the full length circuit. There are a couple of iterations of, you know, like a club circuit, shorter versions, but we're using the full, I suppose you could call it the Grand Prix circuit. Yeah, I think as this new crop of circuits go, it's it's quite a nice circuit. I think the drivers like it. Some pretty interesting corners, some elevation change. Um, I think it's been said before that uh, there are some sections that kind of um, replicate sort of iconic corners from other circuits. One section we've just been through there, sort of sweeping left, right, has been compared to the sort of Beckett's, Maggot section at Silverstone. Um, and later in the lap, we've got sort of like three or four apex corner, which has been compared to the uh, corner of the Istanbul ring, I think that's what it's called, where it's like three or four apexes in one corner, um, but yeah, I'm quite looking forward to this, We've got a long back straight that we're just going down now into a pretty big braking event, into this left hander, that should be pretty interesting, uh, the start finish straight is pretty long, to that uphill left hander. Um, there's the tower, the uh, observation spectator tower in the middle of the circuit. So, yeah, quite looking forward to this. I think it's going to be interesting. We've also been around the circuit this morning, had a look at it. Uh, I know it reasonably well. Grand Prix. I think corner one and I'm not quite sure the number. Um, this is the uh, like three or four apex corner. The corner at the bottom of the circuit are very wide. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to take them to get the apex. Anyway, just coming up to the end of the outlap, so as you would expect, I should pretty much shut up now for three laps. Quick comment as we go across the start finish line. So here we go into the last corner and flat out as we start that one.
Okay, that's the first act done. Not too bad. Went in a little bit deep at the hairpin at the bottom of the circuit. So let's see how we do on that two. Okay, that's lap two done. A little bit of a mistake there into turn one. Let's see what we can do on lap three.
third lap, a couple of little mistakes again. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what happened into the first corner here, I kind of turned in. That's so difficult because the apex is so far away, it's hard to know when to turn. I kind of overshot the uh, bottom hairpin again. And this section through here is, is trickier than you think it's going to be. You want to go through here fast, but then the corners tighten up on you and oh, yeah, a lot of fun. I know I'm in a road car, so I'm not going to be able to push through the corners as hard as in a proper racing car, but uh, yeah, at least I survived my three laps, no crazy offs or anything. Interesting to see what the lap times were. That's quite a nice little kink to there, you can go through there flat out. But yeah, these, these two corners where they're so wide. A little tricky to get them just right. See how this is a circuit where you know, so much time could be won or lost in certain sections. Yeah, um, I enjoyed that. Quite pleased with how I did. Survived that big breaking event there at the back, not at the end of the long back straight. Yeah, I think I've given myself a good understanding of the circuit, which hopefully uh, helped me in the faster cars as the day goes on. I do be quite patient on a couple of these corners. see how we did. Wow, that was a lot of fun. I could have driven some more laps. Anyway, the three lap times for the Ford Mustang Boss 302 are lap 1, 241.8, lap 2, 241.1, and lap 3, 241.6. Nothing record breaking I'm afraid but certainly three consistent laps which gave me a good opportunity to get to learn the circuit. I am now going to get ready to drive something faster so please join me and let's see how I do. Right okay I'm in the second car of the day now which is a 2004 Cadillac CTS-V so obviously we've stepped up to a full blown racing car as you can see, roll cage, a lot of carbon fibre, so yeah, I'm all strapped in, I'm ready to go, so I think we're getting into gear and get out on the outlap. I 
obviously I've been round in the first car of the day, the Mustang. Got a bit of an idea of the circuit and the braking points, etc. Had a couple of little mistakes in the first car, but no real major offs. So that was good. Obviously we've now stepped up to a full blown racing car. Um, still a, uh, like a tin top type car. A GT touring car, style of car. Let's see how we get on with this. Um, quite happy with the times in the Mustang. Oh, two forty one. So we'll see what we can do in this car. This corner and the first corner, I think, are the two kind of corners that are sort of catching me out. I'm struggling with very wide entries. It's hard to know when to turn to get to the apex. Um, I don't think I did too bad at the end of this long back straight into the uh, big braking zone here. So the first corner which again is the wide um, wide entry also it's uphill which kind of adds another dimension to it because obviously you can break that much later because you're going uphill scrubs off some of the speed um, still into a tight hairpin style corner so yeah Let's see how we get on in this car obviously this car's more powerful more powerful brakes etc obviously set up suspension wise chassis wise for the racetrack so anyway, we're coming up to near the end of the outlap, last couple of corners, so I'm pretty much going to shut up now, get through this last corner, and start my three timed laps.
repairs the first lap done. A couple of little mistakes. Nearly turned it around at the bottom of the hairpin. Let's see how we do on lap two. lap done. Still can't get the first corner right, breaking too early. Let's see how we do on lap three.
code, that's my three laps. Wow, <laughs> that was interesting. Third lap was, wow, terrible. Two or three times there I got on the throttle too early with a lot of steering lock, nearly turned it around. Funny enough, I think I got the first corner right on the third lap. But then kind of, not quite sure what happened, lost my concentration or what. Had a couple of silly mistakes, nearly turned it around a couple of times. Messed up my lap time for the third lap. Obviously, this car, when you're really trying to push it, is obviously a little bit twitchy or something. Um, that's the trouble. You do the first lap, I suppose, relatively sedately try and push it a little bit more on the second lap, a little bit more on the third lap. And that's where you start to find some limits. Um, getting on the throttle a little bit too early, with a little bit too much steering lock. So yeah, you're not very good lap times, and the third lap time, well, I'm sure that'll be pretty rubbish, so. Oh well. Still a cool car to drive. No, I only had a couple of moments. At least I didn't have one big disaster and put it in the wall or the you know the barrier. Completed the three laps. So no, that was, that was a lot of fun, certainly interesting, didn't do really as well as I would have liked, but when you only have three laps, like I say, you take the first lap pretty easy, and then a little bit more and a little bit more, and then you're finished. So anyway, let's get back into the pits, into our box, and see what the lap times were. See how much of it, oh, as he nearly crashes in the pit lane. Wow, <laughs> I really are, really are having a bit of a disaster with this car. Um, yeah, let's see what the lap times were, see how much of a disaster lap three was <laughs> right let's see well that was a lot of fun I could have driven some more laps anyway the three lap times for the 2004 Cadillac CTSV are lap one 238.8, lap 2, 238.4, and lap 3, 233.4. I really couldn't understand the lap times of this car, as the third lap was a bit of a disaster, but I got the fastest time. I am now going to get ready to drive something faster, so please join me and let's see how I do. Right, okay, I'm in the third car of the day now, which is a Chevrolet Corvette C7R. Obviously this is a full-blown GT endurance style of racing car. As you can see, a lot of roll cage. So yeah, pretty powerful. Um, I'm all strapped in, I'm ready to go. So I think we'll get out on the outlap. see how well I've been doing this car. I really couldn't understand the lap times from the uh, Cadillac. That was really weird. Two laps at 2.38. It was 
which I have to say was pretty slow. And then the last lap, which I thought was an absolute disaster, was five seconds quicker, so I really can't understand that. Maybe that was a bit like one of my other driving experiences where I had a little moment on the third lap, and that was the fastest lap. But anyway, I suppose it's such a long circuit here. Lots of corners. Plenty of opportunity to win or lose. Lots of time. So yeah. Anyway, it's a lot a little bit better than this car. Um, obviously, it's the most powerful car of the day, the fastest car of the day. So I'll have to get my eye in, as it were, for the uh, big, big braking event corners. First corner and up to this corner. They're pretty tricky. Because they're so wide. And the apex as well. Over there somewhere. Obviously we're going to have the uh, big braking event at the back of the end of the long back straight. Which we're on now. But uh, overall I've had a good day so far. I've enjoyed myself. Made a few little mistakes. Too disastrous. Completed all my laps. Uh, put it in the wall, which was good. Not any of the cars in the wall. So let's see how we get on with this car. Let's see how this car handles. It won't want to be continuously turning itself around like the Cadillac, and that might just be the way I was driving it. A little bit too early on the throttle, too much steering on. We see. Anyway, getting up to near the end of the outlap. Last couple of corners, so I should pretty much shut up now. Definitely going to need all my concentration for this one, I think. Start finish line. So here we go, last one. Bottle, lap one.
Okay, that's the first lap. Please go back, clean. See if we can go on that too. Okay, that's the second lap. Two bizarre for three DSs that time. So we can do a lap three. Going 
with the S's. Really not quite sure what happened there. That's one of them sets of corners where they lead one to the other, to the, to the next, to the next, and you kind of mess up one and you've kind of messed up all of them. Uh, quite need quite a good rhythm. Left, right, left, right. Uh, again, a little moment, nothing too disastrous, didn't hit the barrier, so that's good, or go in the sand trap, gravel trap, um, yeah, I enjoyed driving this car. well and pretty well it sounds good as well always a bonus if it sounds good yeah. fun day here I think like I said before it's one of those circuits where it's so long I'd say it's about like three and a half miles round so many corners get it right in one place and then get it wrong somewhere else and then the next lap get it wrong in the first place and get it right somewhere else. You know you need to do a lot of laps around here I think in one car to really get the perfect lap as it were. But uh, yeah had a lot of fun, enjoyed myself, nice weather. Nice people, nice cars, nice circuit. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching me drive around. Watching my couple of little mistakes. <laughs> anyway, let's get back in the pit lane. See if I can negotiate a bit better in this car. It's quite tight that. Tighter than you kind of expect. Maybe I'm just trying to go around there too fast. Anyway, let's get back into our pit box. And uh, let's see what the lap times are gonna be like. I'm not going to predict anything after the Cadillac. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun. I could have driven some more laps. Anyway, the three lap times for the Chevrolet Corvette C7R are lap one, 2.23 dead, lap two, 2.22.5, and lap three, 2.21.7. Nothing record breaking I'm afraid, but three pretty consistent laps and as you can see the times were getting faster as I was getting more comfortable with the car. Unfortunately that is the last car of the day, so no more driving for me today. It's time to take the race suit off and to return to normality. I'm sorry to say that is the end of my driving experience for today. I have driven some great cars and most of all I've had a lot of fun so I will be doing another driving experience at another circuit very soon. I hope you enjoyed the video and will join me for another driving experience and of course please subscribe, like and comment. Have a nice day wherever you are and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.